Chili season is one of the best times of the year, and we're mm -hmm. close to tasting the first round of harvest. But a busy monsoon season is threatening growers. Stella Sun takes us to a Socorro County chili farm. New Mexico farmers are grateful for any drop of rain, but too much of a good thing can cause issues when growing New Mexico's most beloved crop. It's a time of year we all look forward to. This one, uh, I bet you if I give that two weeks, I bet it'd be ready to eat. Flavor and heat is growing in Socorro County. Yeah, it's got heat. Oh yeah. Glenn Duggins has been planting New Mexico certified chili for almost four decades. I'm a chili man, yeah. He may be the chili man, but it's Mother Nature who runs the farm. Before the monsoon came, it was terribly dry. We were running three irrigation wells at a cost of about $500 a day. Then the monsoon storms rumbled in. In about 20 minutes, it rained an inch and a half. Chilies thrive in the desert. They don't need much water. If you have water standing in that field, even if it's that much. If it's there 24 hours, you bet you're in trouble. The roots rot and the roots can no longer deliver the water. Heavy rains also makes weeds grow fast. Let me get these dirty weeds out of here. Duggan says some of the stuff he needs to operate the farm is 300% more expensive from last year and labor costs are double. But despite all the hits, he's determined to deliver the finest New Mexico certified chili. The chili will be there and the people can be rest assured that these farmers and, and their workers we're doing everything we can. Harvest for this chili crop will likely begin August 15th. Reporting in Socorro County, I'm Stella Sun, KOAT Action 7 News. Duggan says it's not just his chili farm that is struggling. He also knows others are dealing with a lot of heavy rain.